Hey everybody, how's it going? This is Seth from retipster.com. In this video, I just want to show you my first experience here working with this website called Pro Title USA. Now, Pro Title USA, I think they do a handful of different things, but the reason I'm using them is because I'm trying to order a title search on a property that I'm buying. And there's definitely other cheaper ways to get this information, like you can find a local abstractor. Sometimes you, you can even go to the county website itself and order these documents. Or sometimes you can even order this stuff through a service like Datatree if they have this documentation available. But with ProTitle USA, the idea here is that you give them the parcel number or address and then the city and state or the zip code of the property that you're looking at. And once you order it up, they kind of do all the work for you. They'll go out and handpick all the documents, make sure you have everything. They'll actually show you those documents and they'll give you a summary of what those documents say. So it's pretty easy to understand if there's any title issues and what's going on. So if this is like your first time ever doing a title search and you want somebody to really kind of put all the pieces together for you, this is one of those services that will make it a lot easier. So I'm gonna go ahead, all you gotta do if you're gonna get started is, uh, in my case, I'm gonna put in the parcel number of the property and the zip code. And the reason I'm doing the zip code rather than like the city and state is because this particular property is way out in the middle of nowhere and there is no incorporated city associated with this property. So really that zip code is all I have. And I'm gonna choose the 30 year search. And we'll go ahead and click here to see the price. Now, as you can see here, the price is $250. I think the reason that price is showing is probably because this property is in a county where the information is gonna take a little bit more work for them to pull all, all the documents together. I have seen this price down at like $195 with other properties. So just keep in mind, depending on the property that you may need a title search for, the price is not necessarily gonna be $250. So when we go to county here, I'll put in the county name because I do have that. And potential owner, I know who the owner is, so I'll put that in there too. Parcel number, I already put that in there, but I'll put it in there again. I notice up here it's uh, referencing the parcel number as the street. That's actually not correct, so hopefully this will clarify that in case there's any confusion. And go ahead and click continue. And now I'll just put in my information and my credit card digits and go on to the next step. All right, and then we've got the summary of all the information I put in here. We'll go ahead and click purchase. And there we go, this is my order invoice. In the past, it's not uncommon for me to find abstractors who can do all this stuff for like under $100. So it doesn't have to be this expensive. However, the thing that Pro Title USA brings to the table, and again, this is my first time ever using them, so I guess we'll see how it turns out, but I think their main selling proposition is that I don't have to go out and try to track down an abstractor somewhere in the county, which I may or may not be successful at doing, can save a lot of time and it just kind of takes a lot of the speed bumps out of the process and makes it a little bit more streamlined and easier to do. So with that said, uh, I believe it says there is an 8 to 72 hour turnaround time here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to stop this video and then I'm going to pick it back up once I have the report. You can see what it looks like just so you understand what kind of product or results you can expect to get if you ever decide to use Pro Title USA. Okay. So I'm back. I just basically cut out about a week long period of time when I was waiting for this 30 year title search to be completed. I guess that's one important thing for me to note. As it said on their website, it's like an eight to 72 hour turnaround time. In my case, it took eight days. I actually emailed them to say, hey, it's like been well overdue for a few days now. Can I get an update on this? Cause I was just waiting and waiting and didn't hear anything. And they had said, uh, we're waiting for the archived older deed to come in. We can send now with that deed to follow or hold until received. Please advise. So it looks like they were probably able to get most of the job done, but they were just waiting for the county to hurry up and give them something. And that's what caused the hold up. But they could have told me that without me having to reach out and ask. And, you know, I actually did end up getting back to my seller a little bit late because I was waiting for them to finish up their stuff. In the end, not the end of the world, but it's just something to be aware of. It may not necessarily be less than 72 hours. I, I'm guessing it must be most of the time or they wouldn't say that, but it's not like a guarantee because that's not what happened in my case. So with that gripe out of the way, <laughs> I'll just uh, open up the report that I got so you can see what it looks like. And here you have it. So it looks like this first page is like a summary of the chain of title, who currently owns it, who the previous owners were, 
when the deed transfer has happened in the past. And the second page is property tax status, property tax assessment. Nothing I can't already get for free from the county records. But uh, this first information here, I mean, this I could probably get from something like Agent Pro 24-7 or data tree, or maybe even the county records as well. I'm not sure. I, I hadn't actually looked that closely at how this county works. Essentially, the real value here is coming from just a really quick summary of uh, what's going on with the chain of title. And it also says very clearly, no open mortgages found, no active judgments or liens found. And I will say, whenever I just order an abstract of title on my own, and the abstractor just gives me a bunch of documents, they don't really say that. I have to look through it myself in verify that information and really just understand what those documents are and what I'm looking at. But I guess that's one nice thing about Pro Title USA is they just flat out tell you they didn't find that stuff. So that's pretty nice. Now if we move on to the third page, we see more of just summary of the property information, what the taxes are each year. Again, stuff that is usually fairly easy to find for free online. Fourth page gives us a little bit more of this uh, taxing jurisdiction information. Looks like it gives us a little bit more information on the deed and sales history down here. If we keep scrolling down, and this is actual copies of the recorded deeds. And this is particularly helpful because beyond just relying on the summary that they give you up here, you can actually see the specific wording of what the deed said, which can actually be really, really helpful because sometimes you'll find weird stuff in these deeds where it's like, I'm going to transfer you part of the ownership, but I'm not going to transfer the mineral rights to you. I'm going to hold those back. Or they might put some other oddball deed restrictions in the deed as they transfer it where the only way to really know that is to see the actual copy of the deed. And also it'll show you very clearly what the legal description was that they used. And for that matter, I think this is helpful because when I now go and create the deed for this seller to sign and send to me, I can reference a lot of this stuff exactly like it was written on the previous deed, just for consistency's sake. And I can also see the deed prior to that as well, which is also included here. And what you're looking at here is not the deed that my seller received back when they bought the property, but it's the deed from the transaction prior to that when their seller got the property. So it just gives you a lot more history as to what's going on. You'll also notice that this deed way back then in 1992, because this again is pulling up all of the deeds for the past 30 years, this deed was a quit claim deed which for some title companies that can actually create an issue because they just don't like seeing quit claim deeds because a quit claim deed is a very, very loose type of deed where the seller is not giving any warranties about ownership. I mean, they may not even own the property at all. Like it's that loose. So if there is an actual quit claim deed in the chain of title, it's pretty good to know about that just because this can create potential issues. And it may even be smart for me to look even further in the chain of title to find out if there's any particular reason why this seller chose to transfer a quit claim deed instead of a warranty deed. In a lot of cases, it would actually be pretty prudent to do that research and understand why that's happening. And I may do that. In my case though, I'm buying this property for $500. And as you can see here from this summary page, look at the total assessed value and I'm paying 500 bucks for it. So given that I'm clearly getting a steal of a deal here, I'm not going to make the seller bend over backwards or do anything crazy for me. I'm going to handle all that work on my own. But again, just to show you what you can expect to see when you order this kind of thing from Pro Title USA, this is literally the exact thing I got. As you'll notice, I blurred out a lot of stuff just to protect the privacy of the various parties involved here. But yeah, that's what this product looks like. And it definitely saved me a lot of time from having to go and dig up this stuff myself. So there you go, that's that. Uh, if you wanna check out Pro Title USA, I'll have a link to them beneath this video. Uh, I do not have any affiliated financial relationship with Pro Title USA. They don't even know I'm doing this. They're not paying me to tell you about them. I just want to show you my experience on what it was like to work with them. So hopefully that's helpful to you and uh, I wish you all the best on your next deal.